Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, we're going to go ahead and create a color graphic animation so you can create wedding titles or some sort of stylistic uh, title animation. And this is what we're going to be creating. And this is a two-part tutorial, so we have already uh, done the first part of this tutorial. Um, and you want to know how to do this sort of you know, nice stylistic animation. Um, I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description and you can go ahead and watch this video where we design uh, these uh, graphics in Illustrator and we bring them over to After Effects. So uh, you just need to watch this Illustrator portion to get the design out of the way. So uh, you can go back and watch this video after you watch uh, this video here. So the first thing we need to do is jump over to Illustrator and separate these graphics, not the titles so much because we're going to re recreate them in After Effects so we can have that additional animation, but uh, we just need these uh, color graphics here. So I know I told you guys to create the titles in that last tutorial, but in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and delete it. I just went ahead and did that in that last video just so you guys can have a complete design. Um, but for this, we need to select all of our graphics here. And I did mention this in the last video, but uh, we need to go to this drop down over here and we need to set this to uniform. So, so it's basically a complete stroke. So if you had like a kind of a curvy sort of width, uh, it would cause problems in After Effects just because, you know, it would take forever to render and uh, it wouldn't be a stroke. It'd be more of a fill and that's going to cause some issues. But this isn't too bad. So when we're done, we'll go ahead and maybe get rid of our background. And we just have our strokes here, as you can see it. We'll go ahead and we'll save this as, a, you know, a different document or whatever. And I'll just call this one uh, Calligraphic Design. And once that saves, click OK. And then we're ready to jump over to After Effects. And here's the file we just saved. And let's go ahead and drop it into our timeline. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click this layer in the timeline. And we're going to go ahead and click on Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And now everything's going to be in a shape layer. We already hit our calligraphic. I'm going to go ahead and delete that file. And we're going to go ahead and open up our outlines. And as you can see, we have all the groups here. And you know we're ready to go. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Add and click on uh, trim paths and go ahead and open this up and we want to go ahead and increase the start to 100 percent and we'll go ahead and add a keyframe at uh, zero seconds here and we'll go to like say i don't know two seconds and we'll set the start to uh, zero percent and then what we're going to do is select all the keyframes here both the keyframes and we're going to hit f9 on our keyboard to make them easy as keyframes so now the, all these uh, strokes will kind of animate on, you know, nice and slowly, and things can look cool. So, just a tip of advice: if you want to say animate these separately, um, to make it really easy uh, and save you time, instead of going through these groups and dropping trim paths in here, what I would do back in Illustrator is I would just like export each of these groups separately, and then drop them into Illust into After Effects, and then we can animate them, you know, separately. But for this tutorial, you know, I'm not going to go in depth with into that. We just created this animation. And then what I would suggest doing now, since we have our calligraphic design, is to go ahead and retype in the titles that you had previously. All right, so now that I have my text in here, I can begin to animate it, and we're gonna need some cool stuff here. So what I'm gonna do is select our sunduck, or our main text layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this arrow down, go into the text here, and go to Animate, and click on Scale. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and set the scale to 0%. And then we're gonna go to the range selector and we're gonna go to say like one second, you know, add a keyframe for start and move to say two seconds and set the animation to 100%. So now each letter will kind of scale on uh, individually and it'll look pretty awesome. And then, you know, what I suggest for doing the other animations is always, you know, take a look at, you know, the animation presets under the text transitions folder because there's always some cool stuff you can experiment with this in here and usually you know there's, there's a ton of cool animations in here just to work with so like I can go to the blurs folder here and maybe put something like transporter onto our tutorials here and we hit U on our keyboard to uh, bring up the keyframes we can see this is the keyframe range go ahead and maybe drag that in a little bit and we can kind of see how our you know text in the middle here kind of transitions on it looks pretty awesome and then also one of my favorite transitions uh, is under the animate in and it's called random fade up and this thing is absolutely amazing because it kind of just like randomly fades up each like letters randomly so I think it's a very interesting animation of course you know let's go here maybe 
uh, close in the keyframes just a little bit, like bring them in a little bit so the animation happens just a little bit quicker. And maybe what we'll do is we'll select all of our keyframes here and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy as keyframes. So everything will kind of slow in and slow out. And, you know, that's pretty much how we do this basic animation. And also for, um, I also got some light leaks. Um, I download these free, um, and I'll have a link in the description for you guys to download them for free from uh, the source I download them from. But, you know, there's a ton of free light leaks on the internet. And, of course, if you do this for, like, a wedding, the light leaks are always, you know, seems like it's the style to, uh, you know, make things look really nice. So here I have two light leaks, and maybe I'll go in here and, like, splice them somewhere together. And maybe if I'm using two, what I would do for the top light leak is I would go to the blending mode here and maybe set it to add or screen just so we can kind of see the uh, light leak in the bottom kind of blend in as well. So, you know, that's kind of how you do this animation. And let's go ahead and render this out and see what we got. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And, you know, just as promised, looks pretty good. And I could also suggest that you take this graphic and also maybe render it on a alpha channel so you can overlay, overlay it on video footage. That can also be a good use for this sort of graphic. Um, but in the meantime, please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out immensely. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.